Hey guys, so before we head up the mountain and show you some awesome adventures as we find a couple of geocaches in the winter, in the snow, it's always so much fun. We're gonna have a blast doing that, but first, why don't I give you just a quick couple tips about snowshoeing and geocaching when you're snowshoeing. First of all, let me explain the anatomy of a snowshoe, because it's really helpful to understand. Okay guys, so a snowshoe consists of four parts. The first part is the frame, that's this metal loop that goes around the whole snowshoe. The next part is the webbing. That's the fabric surface here that uh, keeps you up off the snow. Next is your bindings. Your bindings are the part that keep your foot in the snowshoe. Bindings are going to look different on most snowshoes, but generally you have some sort of webbing on the top that keeps your foot down firm into the toe, and you're going to have something that goes around the back of your heel. All right, and last part are your crampons. Now they're going to look different on every different snowshoe, but basically it's the metal spikes that go in and give you traction in the snow. That's it. That's all you need to know. Now here's how you put them on. Basically, you just have to put your toe in. Make sure your heel is around the back. However you adjust the tightness on the top of yours, they'll all be a little bit different, but basically you just pull it down snug so that you, when you move your foot, the crampons move with it. And then on the back, you're gonna have a loop. You just pull that tight and then onto the peg. So here's a snowshoe on the foot, properly fitted. Now your bindings, again, may look a little bit different, but notice that you pull the top down as tight as you can over the top of your foot and you make sure that back part around the back is snug and that gives you that flex and keeps your traction going. Now on top of that I've been asked before should I bring poles or not and I say yes bring poles because it's going to help you especially if you're new at this it's definitely going to be a huge help. If I can give you a tip though around using poles first of all Make sure that they have what's called snow baskets on the end. You'll notice one of my poles does, one doesn't, because one's just not fitting on properly right now. The other tip is to wrap duct tape just underneath the basket, if it's a removable basket on your pole, so that way you won't lose it in the snow, because you'll never find it again. Another thing is use collapsible poles, because that way, if you're tired of using them or you don't need to use them at that point in time, you can collapse them down, stick them in your pack, pull them out when you need them. They're really helpful for going up and down hills. Once you've got them on, tightened up, you're ready to go. So let's go have a geocaching adventure. <laughs>